Right through the line, don't slow down, right through. Good. I am John Quinn. I'm a high performance coach and have a group of uh, athletes here in Sydney that we train at Olympic Park. Hold your form. Shoulder square. Been coaching nearly 40 years now, and I've had a number of athletes go to Olympic Games. I was a team coach uh, in the Sydney Olympics. I want you to just shorten it so the tighter rather than big. You're like this, the back, shorten it. I just was here coaching one afternoon, and an um, uh, African athlete came up and said, oh, you coach? I said, oh, yes. He said, oh, I'm athlete, you coach me. I said, oh, can you run? And he said, a little. I said, oh, let me have a look at you. Well, I saw two steps. I said, yes, OK, I'll coach you. As it turned out, he was um, had been here from the Gambia and he'd left the Commonwealth Games and decided to stay. And he'd come down to the track and been watching a few people and decided that he would uh, choose my squad. So he was sort of the start of it. And then I've had others come and I've got they, they come from all parts of the world. Use your arms, push your elbow. I like everything about John. John is like, he's a coach, but he's more of a dad to everyone here, everyone who falls. Like, he accepts people from every background. Acceleration drills, if you can do that, then yeah. we're going to move into the 150s. He still, like, embrace you and accept you into the squad. Yeah. So he's a good man. He's a very good man. So there we go. Um, training with my squad um, involving Ishmael and, like, Foster that do have African backgrounds like me, it's great. They have come from countries where there were war. So coming here and having a coach like John that does realise that we have been through all this stuff and he's here to help us and that's it. Well, Bandiri Aboya is a very special athlete. She's a very non-assuming young lady, but supremely talented. I think that with Bandiri Aboya, we've got the, the new era and she's the new shining light for the sport in this country. And I think just as Cathy Freeman did enormous value in unifying Australia with Indigenous Australia, I think the Bandiri boy is going to uh, have a similar role to play, unifying African Australia with the rest of Australia. I've learnt that it is important to separate being an athlete from being an actual person. I remember when I joined John, the first thing he said to me was he wants us to take care of the person we're before an athlete, and I guess that's how I knew I wanted to stick with John. I'm thinking of you like running you know, around about the 13 mark, you're running around 12 marks. So I told you speed's there. The speed's oh. there. You've just got to listen to the gun. Go ah. bang and then run off it. <laughs> OK? Walk back. Walk back and you've got another one. 100? Yeah, yeah, another 100. At the end of the day, yes, I'm coaching athletes, but I think you coach people first and you develop the people, get them settled with what they're doing, and then uh, the athletic stuff is pretty simple after that, especially when they're as talented as this group. The one wish for Australia Day is that we can all look each other in the eye and say, I'm an Aussie too.